Today we're going to talk about ArrayList. ArrayList is a data structure that is backed by arrays. Arrays are simple to work with, but there is a downside with array, uh, and it's that you cannot increase the size. The size is fixed. But with ArrayList, you are going to dynamically ch change the size whenever you need to. Let's uh, consider an example. Let's say that we have an array with capacity of three. You can put three elements in, in here. And you're gonna keep track of size. Okay, size is gonna be how many elements you currently have in, in this, this array list. And then capacity, which is gonna be how many elements you potentially can put in here. Now, let's say we put 10. We're gonna increase the size because now we have one element in here. If we put five, now we have two elements here. So uh, the size is gonna be two. If we put seven, the size here is gonna be three, okay? When the size is equal to three and capacity is equal to three, you, it means that you have uh, occupied all of the spots in, uh, in this, this array list. In this case, you need to resize. So if size is equal to the capacity, you're gonna do a resize. Okay, resize step is pretty simple. You basically will make a another another array in the background with the double capacity. So the capacity now it's gonna be six in in this in this new backbone array, and the size is gonna be just zero because you initially don't put anything in, into here. Okay. So let me make another array. So remember that this this array is just in the background. And let me create six spot in here. So zero, one, two, three, and four and five. Okay. Now if I put ten, five, seven, the size is gonna increase to three. So five seven size is going to be equal to 3. Now if I want to put another element in here, let's say I want to put 13, it's just easy and I, I put 13 in the last last spot. Let's get to something more interesting. Let's say we have an array list with four elements in it. One, two, three and four. Let's say we have size, we have capacity, so the capacity here is going to be four, and let's say we put everything that we can in this array list. So let's say ten, five, six, and eight. Okay. Now the question asks us to add something, let's say add thirteen, at index one okay so we want to add 13 at index one okay uh, to do that we're gonna check two things for any addition any addition operation you're gonna check two things the first thing is gonna be check to see the index that you're given is a valid index a valid index needs to be between zero and size inclusive okay because if, if it is included uh, the size, size this means that you're gonna add something to the very end okay and adding something to the very end is gonna be um, just checking that you have enough capacity if you don't have the capacity to put uh, the, the the element you're gonna resize and then add it to the end of the end of the array list uh, if not you're just gonna put it uh, at, at the last element the next thing that you will check is to see that capacity is equal to the size or not. So if size is equal to the capacity, you need to do a resize. If not, you won't do anything. You will go to the next step, which is going to be uh, shift everything to the right. So shift to the right. Okay. Shifting to the right is also a simple step, which I will explain. Now, we check these requirements we check that the index is between zero and size size in this case is four because you have four uh, elements in your array list and index is uh, index that you were given which is one is between zero and four so that check passes 
then you go to the second check and check that if the size is equal to the capacity which in this case it is so it means that uh, the sky is already full now you need to resize so the resize step is again the simple step of just doubling the size so I'm gonna make a uh, an array with eight a spot now so zero one two three four five six and seven and I'm gonna occupy these cells with 10, 5, 6, and 8. But our goal was to add 13 at index 1. Okay? To do that, we're gonna do uh, shifting to the right. Okay? We don't want to lose any of these data. We want to keep all of these data, but we want to also have 13 at this spot. So we're gonna do this shifting to the right. Shifting to the right means copy anything that you see here to its um, to, to the to the to the to the to the, uh, to the right of it so you start at size minus one the last element that you have you copy it over to the size so now eight is going to go here okay then you go to the uh, to the next element which is um, at index two and it's six and you're gonna um, copy this guy into um, the element to the right of it in the spot to the right of it. So 6 is gonna go now here. Okay? Then you're gonna go to uh, you're gonna go to this guy which is at index 1 and this is our goal. Don't 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 forget that. You're gonna copy this 5 in here and uh, you're gonna overwrite these and this this spot. Now you have reached your goal. You you have copied the element that you had at index 1. Now it's this it's the time to put 13 in here. Okay, so now you put 13, now you have the array list that has 10, 13, 5, 6, 8, and 13 is at index 1, and everything is um, is going well. So also, I need to put this array, uh, this, this arrow, arrow there. Now, let's get to something more interesting. Let's get to uh, deletion. So remember, for addition, we shifted everything to the right. Now, for deletion, you're gonna shift everything to the left. Let's say we have 0, 1, 2, 3 as our indices. Now let's say we have 10, 5, 8, and uh, 6 here. Then we're asked to remove, so remember that the size here is gonna be now 4 and the capacity is gonna be 4. We're, we're asked to remove let me right remove here. Remove the element at index one. Okay, so remove the element at index one. For removing things, you have to only check one thing, and that thing is just uh, if the index that you are, you are given is in the in the boundary. So we're going to check that the index is between zero and size this time. It's not including the size because you, if if you're talking about size, size means uh, um, size means this guy here. Okay. Now, can you delete something from here? No. That's why we're not going to include size. So the index, the value index, is going to be between zero and size, including only zero. Uh, so one is between zero and four. So that's a valid valid index. Now, what I will do is to move everything to the left. Now I'm gonna start from from this guy here, okay? One element to the right of the index that I want to uh, uh, that I want to get rid of, and copy it over here. So eight is gonna go in the place that uh, five used to be. Okay, so eight is gonna go here, and then you're gonna go to the last element, copy it here. And since you have reached the last element, you are pretty much done. So, at the last step, you are just going to decrease the size. So, let me say, decrease the size. Okay. So, decreasing the size will help you to get rid of the last element as follows. When you are accessing something, you can only access the indices that are between, so for accessing things, you can only 
uh, access something that is between zero and size, not including the size again. So let's see. If you have size now to be to be three, can you um, ever access this guy? The answer is no. So basically, you have gotten rid of this this guy here without deleting it or doing something something crazy. So that's how you got rid of you, you got rid of the last element. Um, let's go to some big O analysis for array list. The big O of removing something is going to be of n okay big o in general okay in the middle at the at the front and so on so the big o for removing is going to be of n because you have the cost of shifting everything to the to the left as we discussed before but if you are just removing from the end so remove from the end you're going to go to the last element and you will just decrease the size. You uh, you actually don't go to the last element, you just decrease the size. So that's the operation that will take you of 1. If the element uh, that you that you have, so this is when you have uh, by an index, if you are given some value, let's say you want to uh, delete 10, not index 10, you want to delete 10, you have to go over uh, all of the elements that you have in the array list and, uh, and find that 10, and if it is there, you're gonna delete it. So the worst case happens when uh, you are told to find something and delete, and the element does not exist in the array list. You have to traverse all of the elements in the array list, and uh, and you will you won't find it. So, uh, traversing all of, uh, traversing through all of the array list is gonna cost you O of n. So remove without index is gonna be always O of n. So without index. Now, if you have addition if you have addition you're gonna have O of n cost to do it because in addition you're gonna if you put it in the middle you're gonna shift everything to the right and if you're putting it at the at the end you may exceed the size and you need to resize so that resize is gonna cost you off n because you need to copy everything over make another array list and so on uh, make another array and so on so that cost would be off n for adding and for finding something by index so find by index you're gonna spend just off one cost to find it because index you give the key you will get the value back so it's gonna be just O of 1 if you are finding by um, just elements so you're given let's say find 10 okay you're gonna go through all of the numbers that you have in the array list and you may or may not find it so finding by elements is gonna be just O of n because you have to traverse through all of the array list. 